The fourth wave of cloud computing, next on At The Intersection. Hi, I'm Ken Jennings, host of At The Intersection, a series where cutting edge IT meets cloud and big data. Now we've all heard of public, private, and hybrid clouds. But what happens when you connect a giant data center on a closed, highly secure network and sell your cloud services exclusively to a select group of businesses with shared needs and concerns? The National Institute of Standards and Technology calls it a community cloud. And we think it's the fourth wave of cloud computing. NYSE Technologies has built one of the first community clouds and they built it to meet the financial market's need for speed and a whole host of other services. Since it began, stock trading has always been about watching for the first signs of a trend and putting in your buy or sell order before the other thousands of people who are watching the same numbers. All that shouting and the hand signals and everything else was a way of communicating. Whoever shouted the loudest literally had a better chance of being heard. So the new version is who gets the fastest quote in uh, and they'll be heard. The influx of electronic transactions to make those markets more efficient is obviously the trend that you're seeing out on the floor. It's not the noisy paper strewn market it used to be. It's much more quiet for a lot of people interacting both at a human level but also at a machine level inside the environment. That environment generates six to seven million updates a second, billions of transactions every day. When you think about customers coming to our cloud, to be able to handle that process and to processing all that information, they need a lot of horsepower. In the past, to get that kind of horsepower, trading companies built expensive private networks and massive data centers. Sometimes just to get a two millisecond jump on a buyer. That's the speed users want and NYSE Technologies delivers. We knew that we could get high-end enterprise class equipment, deploy it in a very intelligent, well-designed cloud architecture, and offer the vast majority of our customers very comparable performance for a fraction of the price. NYSE Technologies created the Capital Markets Community Platform. It levels the playing field for all members, large and small, giving them fast access to market data. It brings specialized services, apps, and big data analytics together in this different breed of cloud, the first in the financial industry. And it does this with the airtight security that their partners require. When we talk to a customer, the single biggest concern right off the bat is security. If we cannot prove that this environment is secure, they won't even consider it no matter how fast or reliable or, or wonderful it is in any other way. Cloud computing infrastructure is not open to the public internet space where we get to read today about a tremendous amount of cybersecurity issues. It's a much more closed circuit environment. There is trust, there is confidence built into the networks and into the market, which we operate on. The community platform offers many of the traditional advantages of a public cloud, accessibility, cost savings, and continually updated infrastructure. Putting it under one cloud makes it very easy to access and it makes it much more easy for us to manage. And from an end user perspective, we can reduce the licensing costs, we can reduce the, um, how users connect to the information, how basically users get information from a historical perspective. We can basically provide optimizations around data movement. We can provide optimizations about entitlement, security. So there's a lot of value to be had with having sort of this community landing zone and cloud. Over 2,000 customers now use the community platform for trades and real-time data services. TD Ameritrade is one of those customers. We needed somebody that A, knew our space, that understands the regulatory environment, that understands data protection, that understands what we do for a living. Uh, somebody that we trusted, that we had a strong trust relationship with, and then somebody who had a well-designed stack from an architecture perspective, but was flexible enough to customize it to what we needed. As with any other cloud technology, new services can be added to make community partners more successful and more profitable. The community cloud is very important because NICE has a number of people that are actually embracing this technology and are using this technology now. That helps us also and it helps our clients because the community itself, you not only could look at solutions like risk management, but you can look at other solutions and being part of that community offers you that those capabilities if you like. Our you know, strategy has been 
uh, building a kind of community that's connected through you know, a you know, global network infrastructure and then building product and services on top of that, which can essentially form a platform capability for us to uh, bring in content you know, services. The cloud offers such a real opportunity to the community. The ability to express ideas, offer transactions, transfer content, receive and consume a large amount of content which has been crowdsourced by lots of people generating and, and uh, contributing information into the same environment. When you've got all the data from the market, plus shared content and crowdsourcing, you're talking about big data. Big data to us means how do we make all of this information, this is existing structured information, how do we get it into an environment where all of our customers can access it, can query it, can run analytics on it, and then can start to merge it with more generic big data that you, you know from the Twitter feeds and the Google sites and different other locations in the internet blogs and so on, and start to process and merge complex unstructured data with this highly structured huge volumes of data. Speed, security, compliance, specialized services, crowdsourced data, plus the ability to easily expand into future services. That's the promise of the fourth wave of cloud computing. This is the start of a marketplace. This is really the chance where people get to pick a la carte the services and capabilities that they need, pay for them in an agile basis. Really, all the promises that the cloud offers to other industries today, we're now saying it's available for financial services too. It's a really opportunity to completely build a 21st century version of the financial services community. The whole operating model can change because of this, so we're seeing a real transformation happening right in front of our eyes. What the community cloud model does for financial services, it can do for other heavily regulated industries. Industries with the same need for airtight security, speed, or special services tailored to their industry. So it's not surprising that the trend is already underway. There's a HIPAA compliant community cloud for the healthcare industry. In the UK, the government has created G Cloud, a community cloud for public sector organizations. And there's CETA's dedicated cloud for the airline industry. By combining the best of public and private clouds, the fourth wave of cloud computing just might become the cloud platform of the future. Thanks for joining us at The Intersection. Funding for At The Intersection is provided by Intel and by EMC.